ZNS Total Sports is brought to you by Fourth Terrace Diagnostic Center. Welcome to sports, everybody. Some track and field news starting us off tonight. The B3A selections are set for next month. Roseman Carey launched her campaign for re-election to the president's post last night in the foyer of the Thomas A. Robinson National Stadium. She outlined the plans for her team, the Bonafide Innovators. Bonafide Innovators is prepared to implement a new vision and strategies that are regarded as expedient in advancing the Federation to greater heights over the next four years, 2019-2022. Commencing 2019, Bonafide Innovators proposal hinges on the creation of five lanes that are deemed necessary for the advancement of the Federation to further heights. These lanes are our people, our policies, our partnerships, our performance, and our programs. Now there are some things that Carrie did not get to do during her first term, but she says the race is not a sprint. While most of the proposed activities were addressed, unfortunately, some remain outstanding. Nevertheless, the stakeholders of this organization should be commended for the implementation of salient policies and actions that were deemed most appropriate for the successful operation of this organization. I note the new constitution, the meetings with the media, the trackside gathering, the gala and other events were all vital in contributing to our coaches and athletes excelling at regional and international level of athletics. After a 24.9 rebound performance in his NBA preseason debut, DeAndre Ayton back on court tonight with the Phoenix Suns as they host the New Zealand national team. And these games are providing much needed experience for the 7-1 big man. It's knowing that your team have trust in you and you know, just keep doing what you're doing, polish your craft every day. <laughs> just being more confident in your game and your, your teammates will like, you know, they will have faith in you. And the coaches, everybody will, to be honest. Now, Aiden already receiving a lot of respect from a former NBA champion. I'm talking about the truth, Paul Pierce. Pierce spoke about what he saw in DeAndre's first preseason game and a meeting he had with him recently. This guy is a workaholic. He wants to be one of the best in the league. I mean, when I got there to, to talk to him, he stayed an extra hour in the gym. And I was like, you know, don't let me take you away from right. your work, young fella. Don't be, because, because I'm here, right. you keep doing what you got to do. And, and I can see it in his eye, and I heard it in his voice that this kid's going to be special, and he wants to be great. This is what you want to see from your pick. In the preseason, I don't care. In the pickup games, you yeah. want to see him out here being dominant. This is everything. You know, this is going to give him confidence moving forward as a coach, as a general manage, manager who made the pick. This is what you want to see. Coach Yolette McPhee McQuinn ready to begin her first year as head coach of the Ole Miss Running Rebels women's basketball team. Their first practice is in the books and Coach Yo likes the team she's assembled. I just want us to play hard and give 100%, 100% of the time. I think that basketball minds would be able to see the direction we're going if the product is strong. Regardless, obviously, Jimmy's and Joe's matter and we have to get another level of talent in here to really be competitive in the SEC, uh, which I think is the number one conference in the country. But uh, one thing that you will see when our players play, they're going to play hard, they're going to be excited to be out there, and you, you'll see a great camaraderie amongst them. After accepting the job at Ole Miss, Coach Joe didn't have much time for recruiting, but what she was able to accomplish even surprised her peers. They just couldn't believe that we were able to fill a roster in basically six weeks, and that's tough to do for anybody. Uh, but we think that we did a great job, and it was strategic. We didn't go with a lot of freshmen, and the freshmen that I went with, I had relationships with, so I knew what they would bring to the table, and um, it's going to free us up to really recruit heavily in the 19, 20, and 21 class, which is our goal. 
The Chesapeake winding down in the Republic of Georgia. Team Bahamas clicking on all cylinders in round nine today in the ladies division. They won all four points against Senegal thanks to Deja Johnson, Antoinette Seymour, Juliet Storr and Erica Seymour. Our open team of Polina Carolina, Cecil Monker, Byron Small and Chappelle Wims also sweeping all four points against Djibouti. Now in round 10 tomorrow, Team Bahamas takes on Mauritius in the open division. Our ladies go up against the International Chess Committee of the Deaf. Scores in from the BAIS private school softball season yesterday in senior girls play. Sock taking care of Queens College 15-7. NCA they won big over Aquinas 35-3. As for the junior boys, NCA also winning over Aquinas there 12-2. QC getting some redemption against Sock, holding on for a 10-7 win. Bahamas Academy they got by St. Andrews 8-7. Kingsway falling to Charles W. Saunders 11-6. Prince Will they went down to St. John's by that identical 11-6 scoreline. Scores also in the past long from the government secondary schools volleyball season. The juniors seeing their first days of action yesterday. In girls play, C.H. Reeves taking down S.C. McPherson 17-13 and 17-5. H.O. Nash winning over A.F. Adderley 17-7 and 17-9. T.A. Thompson went three sets before disposing of L.W. Young 17-10, 15-17 and 15-5. As for Donald Davis, they were in the win column as well over Anton Rogers 17-4 and 17-12. On the boys side, S.C. a winner over C.H. Reeves 19 9 and 11. AF Valley defeated HO Nash 17 13 and 15. TA Thompson taking care of LW Young 18 16 17 14, while DW Davis defeated Anton Rogers 17 6 and 17 5. The Bahamas Scholastic Association with volleyball action yesterday as well in the primary co ed division. Christian Heritage, they took down Telios 7 15, 15 11, and 15 6. A Capron Junior Boys, a winner over Christian Heritage 19 17, 17 19, and 16 14. As for the senior boys, Telios winning over a Capron 25 18 and 25 11. And that will do it for sports. Stay tuned. The Bahamas Tonight comes back after the break.